I'm well-meaning, and I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president, and I put this country back on its feet. My memory is fine. My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become president. None of you thought I could pass any of the things I got passed. How'd that happen? You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. President and White House staff alike left reeling following the release of a special prosecutor Robert Hur's report into the president's retention of classified documents. Now, while there were no charges, despite his willful retention of the documents, it was her who repeatedly who described the president's cognitive condition. And that was what was truly extraordinary about this report. And for more on this, we're going to bring in South Carolina Republican Congressman Ralph Norman. Congressman, uh, no, no charges uh, came out of this investigation, uh, but we did see a deeply troubling depiction of the president's uh, cog cognitive state in this report. Uh, it, it describes the president uh, as an elderly man with a poor memory, saying that he couldn't remember when he was vice president and other details about his life, associates, and career. Your colleague, Congresswoman Claudia Tenney, has called for the cabinet to invoke the 25th Amendment to remove the president uh, from office. That's likely not going to happen. Um, but, you know, is... Is that a, would that, that be a smart move anyway, uh, because is a com President Kamala Harris really what we need right now? Well, first of all, it shows a two-tiered system of justice, uh, one for Democrats and one for Republicans. Uh, secondly, this isn't, Joe Biden's been showing the uh, fact of what Americans are seeing now for a long time. They just are now reporting it. It's a scary time for the American people. It's a scary time for Americans and for the country in general because others see weakness and are going to take advantage of it. As far as the 25th Amendment, it sounds good, Tom, but it takes uh, Kamala Harris to agree and the Biden administration, uh, the cabinet post, vote on it. They're the ones that were appointed by Joe Biden. So the odds on getting him out uh, is is slim to none. They're not going to vote against the person that put them in. And Kamala Harris would be as bad as Joe Biden. I mean, he's, his judgment all of the, all across the, the board is not there. And granted, now he's worse off than he was when he took office. Congressman, I want to shift gears with you. Speaker Johnson got his wish this week after the bipartisan border bill endorsed by President Biden was killed in the Senate. Uh, we know the situation at the border is getting worse by the day. I asked your colleague about this last hour. Um, you know, H.R. 2, and he, he talked to me about H.R. 2, and, and that may have been a fine bill, but that's clearly not going to become law right now. What needs to be, and specifically needs to be in a border bill in order for it to pass uh, the floor of the Republican House of Representatives? Well, what's, what's needed is a president who will enforce what's already on the books. When he took office, he's the one that stopped the remaining in Mexico policy. He's the one that stopped the wall from being built. He's the one that um, started letting everybody from every country into this into America. Uh, and the fight now is on our soil. What you saw happen in Israel is over here now. So there's not a bill. The only reason this bill came up by the Senate was to give Biden cover uh, to say to blame Republicans when we, we wouldn't pass it or even take it up. And it's ridiculous, the, the, the details in this bill, 5000 a day uh, admitted, uh, dollars that go to give to uh, an open, even further open the border up, the agents are not allowed to do the job that, that they yeah. should be doing. So this administration just isn't going to enforce it.